Hey everyone, it's Bug. I'm back with another stuff. Today is Thursday, August 19th, and it's the afternoon time, roughly 4 p.m. Central Time. I hope you guys are doing well, and I am excited to bring you guys some information today. You guys probably already know that, though. I'm excited to come to you guys. Um, just got off work. I haven't really been looking at a ton. I mean, like, I haven't looked at the Reddits at all. I'm going to talk about them, but I just kind of, like, I haven't been looking at the app. I don't know what people are feeling. I don't know what people are saying. So I'm just going to bring it to you guys as I see it at this exact moment. Let's talk about it. The drop was dope. All right, guys, the drop was dope. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The drop sold out in two minutes flat, and they were all gone. All the blind boxes were gone. All right, guys, they were sold out in two minutes flat, and they were gone. They took about, I mean, they probably took a good two hours to distribute them, maybe more. I don't even know. Maybe more. Um, drop was awesome. I felt like the drop went fantastic. I would love to know your guys' opinions down below. I loved this drop. I loved that this drop was a blind box. It felt like a cla it felt like a blind box drop. It felt like a blind box drop to me, and I love that about it. First of all, next, um, let's talk about um, how did I do. Um, so, I bought five blind boxes, guys. I bought five blind boxes, and I may have gotten lucky, but let me tell you guys what I got. I was able to get. Two commons. Two commons out of five. I was able to get two uncommons. And I was able to get one rare. Okay, guys? And I'm telling you guys, I am ecstatic to have that. I promise you guys, I am not hurt about not having the secret rare. I am not hurt about not having the ultra rare. I am over the moon, ecstatic about having the rare, uncommon, and the common right now. Um, so, once the drop happened, I also bought an extra uncommon from the market for eight gems. Okay, so let's talk about what has happened, what has perspired since then. Okay, so I sold my first uncommon for 21 gems, and that put me at about 25 gems ish. So one thing that I've been trying to do is build up a um, a series like I'm trying to get a collection of sub 1,000 mint Marvel Mighties, the last drop. So I actually went on the market and while all this comic book stuff's happening, I was able to find a very good deal on a sub 1,000 um, uncommon, which is the one of the two that I still need to get, and I found a $25 uncommon for the edition numbers like 850. And I got it for 25 bucks, so I got that. That's what I did with that $25 that I had, because I had like four left over, and then I sold that for 21. Then I sold my bad cereal uncommon, because I did have one before that, obviously. So I sold my bad cereal uncommon, and then I sold my second spare uncommon for $22, and that gives me $25 on the app right now. $26 to be fair. Um, so. Basically, I started the day at $25, or sorry, I started the day at $45, I bought the blind boxes, I have $25, $26 left over, so I spent $20, and I was able to basically acquire a rare, uncommon, common, and I'm feeling fantastic about it, guys. I'm feeling fantastic about it, guys. Like I said, let me know, how did the drop day go for you guys today, and and uh, honestly, what was your just opinion about the drop? Like I said, like like when I said that this drop felt like an actual blind box drop, do you guys agree with me on that? Like, do you guys resonate with that when I say that specifically? I'd love to know what from you guys down below. Let's pop over the spreadsheet because I've made some insane advancements to the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is going to be linked in the description down below, guys. The price are going to be in column I, that's the column where the numbers are slightly larger. It's also the column with the header 815. There's also col prices in column F of the digital comics page, guys. Column F of the digital comics page is where we're going to have the prices for the digital comics themselves. Um, I've got them on here right now. Now, with the digital comics prices, let me tell you guys, the market 
does not work well with the digital comics. It's not easy to tell what the prices are supposed to be. So right now, the prices are close, but they are not perfect. And I promise you guys, I'll do my best, but I can only do so much. I'm just one guy, and I'm just a normal guy at that. I'm not even a superhero. So come on, guys. Uh, with that being said, we've also got a low mint to NFTs page. With that being said, we've also got three portfolio calculators. You guys already know about them, but I have improved them, and I have added comics to them, guys. You're going to see the comics are now in this like kind of right-hand section here. Um, I just botched it. Sorry about that. Um, the comics are going to be here. You can put the count for comics here, um, and it should add it into the total here as well so i can put four there and i can put four there and it will total those up and give me a total for everything combined Whew! i'm feeling really good about that i got three of them on here um nobody has used them yet so i don't know if they work or if they're broken i'm hoping they work i don't really know i would love to know your guys opinion about that does the do these portfolio calculators look dope the way I did it? Do you guys like this um, style the way I did it? Because I'm going to have the comics on one side here, and I'm going to have the digital collectibles on one side. I'd love to know your guys' opinion about this changes to the spreadsheet, guys. Wow, so much information, and we're like, and that's like, and we haven't even gotten to the Reddit, guys. We're already six minutes in, so let's pop into the Reddit, guys. First post is going to be from our homie Omi Turtle saying, "What's with?" The minus 100, uh, this guy's talking about the additions getting reserved. And so is this guy talking about the additions getting reserved. Um, A-K-O-S-I-D-A-G-002. Um, these additions are reserved and they are given to the licensors. These additions are given to Marvel. Some of them are retained by Vivi for giveaways and stuff like that. But they made it clear that a lot of these NFTs are going to licensors themselves. So these NFTs might be being held by Marvel. Next, we got a post from DK Bowl 2 saying, Sold out in two minutes. Dang, I know, man. Insane. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next, we got a post from Coin Flip Boppo saying, Sold out. Exactly, man. Insane. Um, next, we got a post from SYS. T O U S and suck it bots. I got mine. Let's go, homie. Let's go. Next, we got a post from Mad Pickle saying happy. Let's open this post up because I already know what this is going to be. Oh, man. Our homie Mad Pickle went ahead and got himself the secret rare. Shout out to our homie Mad Pickle. Congrats on the big come up, man. That's how you spend $7 and get a $1,700 collectible. Very nice. Um, next, we got a post from... What do you guys think about not being able to display in the showroom? Oh, yeah. No, this was mentioned, and I was thinking about this. Um, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they made it so you can display the comic covers in the showroom at some point. I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Um, with that being said, I'm looking at this as like almost a different digital asset than the digital collectibles and so i'm not too hurt about it i mean sure it would be cool and i'm sure some people would love to do it but i'm not too hurt about it i guess i'm just the way i'm looking at it right now is this is just a different digital asset than what we have been buying up until this point on vv maybe i'm crazy shout out to our homie frx trader though um shout out to our homie i would love to know what you guys thought think about that down in the comments down below though for sure what are your guys' thoughts um is this a glitch? I thought there were only going to be 6,000 uncommons. No, it's not a glitch. There's something weird going on with the additions. I don't really understand it. Um, I, I can't really help out with the additions questions. I don't really know. They might all, all the additions might be mixed together in one big group. That could be what it is. I don't really know. Next, we got a post from our homie. Oh, that was from our homie Alpha Murph Dog. Next, we got a post from our homie Geo Vasion. Saying, first, my first time, someone clarify what's to happen. I bought two, but I haven't received nada. These are going to show up. Let's see if he ended up replying and saying what he ended up getting. Let's see if we he got lucky. Hold on, let's just take a quick peek. Okay, so, okay, so this guy just kind of cleared his mind. But we didn't see what our homie got. Let's hope that he's got a post above and maybe he'll let us know. Next, we got a post from our homie. R-A-V-O-P-T-I-X-83 saying, 
we are witnessing history with this release. I agree, man. I loved this release. This was an epic release. All-time great. Next, we got a post from our homie VV Dark, Dark Link saying, Anyone else? 11 out of 11 commons. Wow, bad time to be in Vegas. Um, Dark Link, I got lucky, man. I, I got lucky. I explained what I got earlier. I look at myself as very fortunate. Honestly, when I had my uncommon, I was like, man, I'm not happy, but maybe that's all I can expect, you know? But then I got the rare, and I was like, wow. And then I got the second uncommon, I'm just like, wow, I'm just blessed. Um, shout out to our homie, VV Dark Link, man. I mean, there's another drop tomorrow. There's another drop Saturday. Let's go. Next, we got a post from Graves LSA. VV, keep the market closed until orders are filled. I understand why he's saying that. Um... I get it. I mean, I agree with Graves LSA on this one. I mean, there's really not much I can say about it. Um, it, make, it's, it makes logical sense for him to want the market to be closed until the orders are filled. I get it. Shout out to our homie Graves LSA. Let's go. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Sorry, guy. I mean, like, I mean, I'm just a normal. Normal. I'm just a normie. Next, we got a post from our homie Holy Roman Emperor saying, Unable to properly filter comics. Yeah, exactly. Can't filter comics rarity. Um, is it supposed to be that way? Maybe, potentially, who knows? Um, this is exactly why it's impossible to do the prices. I promise you guys, it's a lot of work for me to get those prices. It takes a lot of effort for me to figure out even like remotely what they ought to be. VV cheats. Um, our homie says, K Coop Jedi saying, bought four, waiting for third and fourth to be received. Then all the sudden shows I only bought two, and no proof I bought the other two. They. At least they didn't take my money, but that's BS. Yeah, no, that is BS. I don't know what's up with that, man. I'm, I'm just a normal guy, K-Coop Jedi. Next, we got Prof. Gary Oak saying, I bought number 1333 for $4.99. Oh, wow. This is, a, this is a market snipe right here. Shout out to our homie, Gary Oak. That's a nice snipe, man. I, I, hey, I don't hate that move at all. I love that edition number. Very nice edition number. Very good price. Shout out to our homie, Prof Gary Oak. Let's go. Next, we got a post from Soggy Ebb, one five eight six, saying, "Can anyone help me here? Please." Ordered thirty gems and only got twenty three. I have, I mean, bro, I, I'm not the guy. I'm just a normal guy. Next, I got a post from Foxins saying, "Happy to those who got good drops, but I hate this garbage blind box." I got three comments. Our homie got three comments. You know. I get it. You know, if that's what he bought, if he buys three and you get three commons, I, I understand it. I mean, our homie down here bought 11 and he got 11 commons. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Um, keep that in mind, uh, Fox, and keep that in mind. Next, we got a post from Winter Vacation. Um, selling for gems. I mean, is this guy just, I mean, like, I, I don't do sales on here, man. Sorry. Next, we got a post from... Suspicious Wallaby, anyone else feel like the Seeker Rare comic doesn't feel rare? Uh, okay, yeah, I mean, like, all these points are justified. Sorry, Suspicious Wallaby, I don't like reading that much out loud, sorry. Next, we got Logical Bets. Is, is Harley Quinn ends today at 7 p.m. Next, we got Winter Vacation. Mint 1229 Rare for Sale. Gems only. Shout out to our homie Winter Vacation. I really don't do gems on here, but I have seen your name before. So we'll shout you out. Next, we got Lefteris Moss VV Future. Uh, is like that after the comic drop, VV is ready to be king of NFT future. I see massive potential, and I see first comic go for thousands of dollars even more if low mint. Yeah, no, man. I mean, we're, like, nobody knows what the potential really is at the end of the day. I mean, like, we're all guessing. Um, but shout out to our homie. Um, next, we got Omi's price trading at 0 0.002889. Omi can be your homie. I'm not going to be your dad and nothing in this video is financial advice. You guys 